All right, in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is setting up perfect splash screens on iOS using React Native. All I've done at this point is run React Native init splash example, and that's what we're seeing here. And before we get started, something you're going to want to do is actually download the icons I'm going to be using. There's a link down in the description for those. Uh, basically, this is just so you can copy and paste the images in that I'm using. Uh, it's All the images are 200 pixels wide, or that's the basis, and then we've got three different pixel densities. So this one's 200 by 200, 400 by 400, and 600 by 600 for the various pixel densities on uh, iOS in this case. So if you've tried to set up a splash screen in React Native before, uh, then you may have experienced this white flash. It's a little bit tricky to see, but what's happening is between the actual iOS application opening up and React Native being ready, there's this little flash of white. Um, and just to make this really visible, because this is a problem I've seen on a few React Native apps, we're going to change the background color to be dark so that we can actually see when this is happening. So for our background color, I'm just going to set this to 4F67A. And then I'm going to set a text color of F5FCFF. And then I'm also going to change the status bar. So we're going to import the status bar component from React Native. And then inside of our app, we'll go ahead and render that. And we're going to set the bar style to light content. That's for iOS. And we're also going to set the background color to 4F. 6D7A, and that's used for Android, which is a separate video, which I'll also have linked down below. Okay, with that completed, now we can actually go ahead and start setting up the splash screen. What we'll do is open the project in Xcode, because remember, this is run via React Native init. So this project is actually within the React Native project. If you look inside of the iOS directory, and then you've got this splash example one or splash example dot Xcode project, that's what you're actually going to want to open within Xcode. So now we want to go ahead and set up some new image assets. So we'll go into splash example, then spl splash example one again. And then we've got this images.xc assets and we want to create a new image set. And I'm just gonna call this splash icon. So then looking at the icons that you should have downloaded before, uh, what we'll do is just take these and drag them into Xcode. And since we've got that at 1x, at 2x, at 3x, it'll go ahead and assign those to the correct pixel densities automatically. So next thing we want to do is actually go into this launch screen.xib. And the reason we're doing this is we're actually going to be using the built-in way of actually setting up a splash screen rather than trying to use an image, uh, which can cause some issues with the ever-growing number of iOS devices and different screen sizes. So we're just going to use the launch screen.xib so that it's always going to look the same regardless of the device we need to do and we don't have to go and try to generate a bunch of images to handle every single case. Okay, first thing we wanna do on the screen is actually just go ahead and choose the splash example text and then powered by React Native text. We can then go ahead and choose this view in this uh, second navigator. And then going to this down arrow icon, whatever it is, uh, we want to actually go ahead and set the background color. So you'll probably default to this screen. Uh, what you can do is go to the second tab, and then you can go and choose the RGB sliders, which will allow you to actually put a hex value in, uh, which is typically the way I'm doing things. So again, here we're going to use that same blue color, which is 4F67A. You can set that and you can see that our background color has been set. So next thing you want to do is in the bottom right, uh, down here, we've got this other navigator. We're going to choose this third icon. And then down here in the filter, we'll search for an image. And then we want to drag this image view in. Okay, and we're just going to center this vertically and horizontally. So with this selected, we can then up here in the top right navigator, choose the image and the images we put into our images.xe assets should show up here. And you can see our splash icon does show up. Now, obviously this isn't correct. That should be a 200 by 200 uh, pixel image. This is distorted. So what we can do is with this content mode, change the scale to fit to aspect fit, and you can see our image has correctly resized. Okay, next thing we wanna do is choosing this ruler icon. We wanna make sure we're resizing this correctly because currently uh, it'll be perfectly centered on an iPhone 8, but there's iPhone 10s, there's iPhone 7 Pluses, there's all these different devices. So we can actually change the auto resizing. And we'll get rid of this left constraint and this top constraint. Okay, and then we wanna choose these two arrows in the center. 
So we got the vertical arrow and the horizontal arrow. And this is going to allow it, as you can see this animation showing, it's going to change in the center as uh, the different device sizes change. So this is what we want uh, in this case. Might be different for your different layouts, but it's kind of how that auto resizer works. So with these done, if we go ahead and rerun the application, So hopefully you caught that, but what happened uh, was the application loaded, we saw the splash screen, which is perfect, that's what we wanted, but then we had that white flash that I was talking about earlier. And the reason that's happening again is just because the application loads, but then React Native actually needs to load, and that takes you know just a few milliseconds. So, But there's still that white flash in one that we've got this dark colored background. That's very visible and we wanna take care of that. So what I'll do is go to Terminal, and within my project, I'm going to say Yarn Add, React Native Splash Screen. And then I'm going to specify version 3.0.6 just to make sure we're all on the same page. This is the version I'm using currently. That'll go ahead and install it. Then we can go ahead and say React Native Link. And then it went ahead and linked that iOS dependency for us and the Android one. But again, we'll cover that in a separate video. Okay, with that done, now we need to go ahead and actually configure React Native Splash Screen to work and to show up and to kind of hold that uh, when we're not quite ready for our uh, full application to be displayed. So what I'm going to do is within splash example one, splash example one, we'll open up the app delegate.m and then I'm going to import splash screen.h and then scrolling all the way down to the bottom of this did finish launching with options method right above the return yes going to add splash screen show, which is just a method that's going to say, uh, once we reach this point, continue showing the splash screen. So now what I want to do is actually going back to my JavaScript, uh, again, within the app.js file. What we're going to do is import splash screen from React native splash screen and then once our application is loaded, which is represented well by the component did mount, we can say splash screen dot hide. So within iOS, we said splash screen. So show we had to do this in Objective C because it's happening before React Native is fully ready. And then once React Native is fully ready, which we can represent by this component did mount, we can say splash screen dot hide. Now, one final thing before we go ahead and test this is going back to this root splash example one within Xcode. I'm going to go over to the info tab and then within the custom iOS target properties, I'm going to press the plus sign. I'm going to say UI status bar style. Okay, that's going to be of a type string. And I want to set this to UI status bar style light content. Okay, and what we're doing here is basically in that uh, intermediary between this status bar configuration actually working, we want to set the status bar uh, when the splash screen is displayed to also be white so that it's very consistent throughout the whole process. So with that all done, we can go ahead and rerun the application. Okay, and with the app loading, make sure to keep an eye out on this top bar. You can see everything showed up correctly, everything looked good and then we would directly went into the application without any white screen flash. So just as a recap, there's a few different things we need to do. First off, uh, we need to actually add our images.xc assets. Then we need to configure our launch screen.xib. Um, I would highly encourage you to keep this splash screen very, very, very simple. It's not gonna be shown for long, so don't put too much stuff there. I just like to think of it as an expansion of the icon into the application. Then we installed React Native splash screen. Uh, within the app delegate.m, we told it that it actually needs to show. And then once our application is fully loaded and launched, the component did mount, did run, then we can say splash screen.hide, and then we can go into our normal React Native flow. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and thank you for watching it. Uh, just as a little introduction, my name is Spencer Carley. I've spent the last few years learning and building with React Native. I send out a weekly email with tips, tricks, and tutorials. I'm building React Native apps. There's a link down below. And I've also got a handful of premium training courses to help you build React Native apps faster. React Native has really changed my career and I kind of want to extend that to other people to really get to build things because uh, with JavaScript, there's so much we can do with it. 
now we can build native mobile apps. So uh, if any of that sounds interesting to you, be sure to check out the links down below. And thank you again for watching.